and um, and then I'm going to just tell you what's going to happen and let's uh, bring it up so you should be able to see my screen correct all right so uh, this is what we have so this is where we are standing right now we went through function templates and everything the input output refinements and things that we have over there are very uh, um, simple and straightforward thing it's not a um, difficult thing to go through it we've already talked about all these things so uh, please go through it and come with questions the next day you are coming in uh, most of these style and things that we worked on you all know like ignore get get line um, uh, yeah everything everything's here so you know them all like c out c error c log everything we've all talked about it before please go through them and come with questions and the last thing that we are going to talk about the next day you're coming in on tuesday will be the overview of polymorphism which is going to take around five to ten minutes it's going to be a short short sessions but um i like to see you at school and say um, uh, this is the end of the semester type of thing goodbye type of thing until we see each other on uh, of course online sessions i'm going to keep every single session that we have in the online session that we have i'm going to keep uh, but uh, uh, so next week's going to be there and the week after that and then uh, we have your uh, final all the uh, classes will be uh, i'll be online waiting if anybody have any question anything you want to uh, talk about i'll uh, i'll be with you other than that uh the the all the subject material are covered and there is nothing extra to talk about other than reviewing material or anything that you want um, and we can do them on, either online or in person whichever you like i do not mind so let's start today any questions anyone have about anything that you want to talk about any questions okay Anush, you start yes sir i uh, just want to say uh, after the class would you be able to uh, stop by on the teams for like five minutes sir if i of course oh, sure 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 right after the class is done We'll, uh, you and I will talk on uh, on Teams. Peter, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, same thing. All right. Same thing, too. Okay, so Anuj, Peter, Teams after this. Sanjit, Shao, Hao, Fei, D, Anvi, I'm not hearing anything from you guys. Any questions? Uh, uh, yeah. Hi. <coughs> Hi, Hi D. <coughs> yes. Excuse me. Uh, I have some questions about the milestone five. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. Go ahead. <clears throat> what yeah. are the questions? We, yeah. Will, will you look at the the main function? The main function calls data file and and the pass true. Give me a and second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. First, mm -hmm. to do that, I need to open <clears throat> up the sorry. Open up the page for it and take a look at it. Give me two seconds, okay? Let me close this solution for now. Close solution. Just a second. Just a second. That's that. So you were talking about uh, the main function of milestone five, the main uh, file of milestone five, correct? Yes. This is yes. what we are talking about. Yeah. All right. Yeah. As in line 21, mm -hmm. uh, it calls the data file function and, and pass true. Okay. So it goes to data file function. If it's true, yeah, this, the if statement is going to ask it execute it uh, <clears throat> i ask you yeah. if you want to restore the data or not just, yeah yeah it's just for your ease that i'm not going to do that for the prof but here because you want to test it over and over and mm -hmm. believe it or not many times i told to people all my students that 
the back backup file over there is the original data and you can restore it by copying it back they kept asking me how to do that so mm -hmm. finally i wrote the program to do it so so, mm -hmm. so i mean so this if statement is not included in the output um so should i set the uh restore okay. to so, false okay give me a second let me just show you this uh, first of all when it's testing it's testing see when you my submitter program doesn't check the whole file i tell to my submitter program from which line to which line oh okay so and also when you are submitting your code this is the main file that you are receiving so when the submitter is submitting let me go there to where is it uh, there you go so uh project 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 oh and workshop 10 i think did i post workshop i didn't post workshop 10 i have to do that <laughs> completely forgot okay so it, when i am issuing the thing uh, this is the main that you receive you see that so on matrix when you are compiling this is the file that gets compiled as you see it's false oh okay this is different from of course that's why it's the prof main prof oh, oh. this is the okay. so when you actually submit it picks this from my directory and puts this one and compiles against this so it automatically sets it to off okay okay that no, makes sense though. okay so, so yeah. no worries about it okay in short okay okay um i have another question go ahead um i have i found a sentence that i i was unable to find it in in the files um, okay a press and yeah mm -hmm. press enter to continue in the output yeah so you said yeah and most of the um like options after you like enter like an option like so say it asks you to press one or two or whatever after you press one or two then there's like an area where it stalls and says press enter oh yeah and it's that's a pause. Much I th th we didn't uh, so where did you, you okay when you're saying wait, let me run it and see what's going on in here um so so when you're saying like for example when i say list vehicle over here it says press enter to continue yeah. and we hit enter to continue this is what you're saying yes you didn't see it where um like no instructions I, for it yeah yeah should i include it in my no instructions file? see when that is in the out see that's one of the things <laughs> okay let me, let me show you because i spoon fed a little too much throughout the semester <laughs> like you expect that i that, that i mention everything i is that um reflected in the output yes so so when you're looking at the output you see that has to get generated right so when you actually look at i don't know even where the output is it's at the very bottom oh well, actually no it's in a file in a file yeah five separate files for uh, milestone five okay let me see if i can actually get to i just want to make sure that it's there so that's the one in this it's not in here. five two. two yeah you can check five two yeah two okay so that's oh my god now it's gonna go back again <laughs> uh so there it is so two, you passed it. two this is what you're talking about right yes yeah yeah you should implement it that press mm -hmm. is entered to continue we should implement it of course not in the main okay no it's not main it's your program so in your program you should do something so when something is an action is finished it immediately doesn't show the menu it tells them press enter to continue so they don't know they know that it's finished you follow mm -hmm. what i'm saying okay so yeah so you you sound I disappointed guess... I guess on the on the topic of like stuff 
like that in terms of the output all like every time you you click option six to exit the program there's like a typo there um uh, it says like this will this will oh it's so uh, so it, six yeah. so when i do six it's Oh, this it's having two this builds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, well, mm, yeah. So what shall we do? What shall we do? Oh, but I can fix that. I can fix it and put a new version of it. So yeah. Okay. So that's okay. there. All right. So that's one thing that we'll do. I don't know. Should I do it now or no? I'll do it later. <laughs> I have to cap recapture. So we set it up and we'll see what happens. <laughs> so yes. Okay, what else? Okay, my last question. Go ahead. Could you please, yeah, could you please open the submission for milestone five so that we can upload our files to test the matrix? It is It is not open? Mm, on not Tuesday, open. I ch is what it open? It, what does it say? I think on t I check it on Tuesday. Um, it's open and it's not open until December. Oh, so it gives you a so message the... that is not open. Yeah, yeah. It says this one, it's going to be open at a certain date, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, bad girl you are. Dash feedback. You know what uh, dash, dash feedback does? Um... When you do dash feedback, it runs a mock-up mm -hmm. submission. So it gets all your files, tests, and it makes sure everything is good. If it's good, it's going to say your files are okay. You can submit it, wait for it to open. Oh, okay. Yeah, I will check. <laughs> so, dash, so uh, on, let me just see if I'm connected. Yes, I am connected. Give me a second. So, if I can obviously, there you go. Okay. So, so I, I go to, let me just hide this thing and this one. Oh my God, seriously? There you go. So, so uh, let me just first see if it's, is, is it open or not? F sub uh, 244PRJM5, correct? No. What does it say? Is that how we submit or is MS5? Hmm. I think five one. Oh, five one. Oh yeah, five one. Sorry, yeah. So yeah. So to do that, then all you need to do is this: dash feedback and hit enter. You see, it says try mm -hmm. running MS one, MS five, and runs the program. And you compile. What do we do in here? Anybody knows? What is MS one? Six. So I have six. to do six. Okay, so I'll do six. Yeah. Yes. And you see it says checking success outputs my submission this is a dry run only nothing will be submitted submission is this oh okay <laughs> so you can test it make sure everything's good with this and you can do it with everything like workshops everything okay dash feedback it it ignores all the outputs even if the time is passed <coughs> then you want to check something okay okay thank you so much no problem uh, anyone else? So it's a good thing that I, that you can't submit. So I can actually fix that. This will, this will, this will thing. <laughs> and Peter is going to help me with this, this, that after the after the class. All right. Uh, what else? Anyone else? Anyone else? One. Anyone else? Two. No. So any question, final call, any question? Any question one, any question two, and done. Actually, just a request for uh, two things. Yes. Um, is it possible to upload the lecture from last Tuesday? Okay, if sure, I'll do possible? that. I'll do that right and... away. I'm going to bring, I just brought the computer up and I'm going to put it up, put them all up. Thank you. And if 
they have fixed like the uh, your blackboard. It's a possible for the quizzes sometimes. Yes, too. that's exactly. It. I just finished everything for OP three four five. You guys were the next. Okay, so, cool. Thank you. So essentially, the first one is going to be on Monday. The next one is going to be on Wednesday. The third one is going to be on Friday. Then the fourth one is going to be next Monday. Fifth one is going to be the uh, uh, Wednesday after that. Every two days, I'll bring one up. Okay. Thank and I'm going to put all the submissions up. So those are all set up and done. I had to just reset my polls and everything. It was a mess. I had to fix stuff. Um, so it take that was, that's why it took time. Okay. All right. So... Uh uh, I think, yeah, I missed like the first 10 minutes. I'm not sure if this question was answered yet, but um, like, uh, you know how uh, get, um, I think it was get parking, oh no, not get license plate is, uh, was moved to, uh, moved as a protected um, yeah, yeah, just add the protected. So what you do, you simply add the protected. No, but mm -hmm. but um, in we never end up using get license plate because I was thinking in the uh in in work um milestone five, there's a function called uh find vehicle, mm -hmm. and that uh, method requires us to um. A string compare um, license plates. So you're saying that the function is not needed, uh, and we made it protected. Is that what you're saying? Um. Yeah. yeah like Dude, no I problem. want it again. I I put it. I have to put it in a way so all possibilities of implementation is there. If you think none of them even is needed to be protected, make them on private. Who cares? Oh, okay. So we're allowed. It is to... a yeah. It is. Remember, project is replacing a DIY which means it's do it yourself. You can okay. make anything you want as long as it works exactly as I want. Okay. Anything okay, you, you want. So would we be able to make it public then? Because we, in that case, you we make it public, it you lose mark like crazy. Why okay, public? Because of the string comparison. Like, I'll, I'll, I can show that part later too. You can show it to me right now because that's a scary question, man. See, okay. making making things public that's against the rules of encapsulation, that information hiding. But okay. having something protected or private, you are just thinking who is going to access this, but I'm not going to just leave it out in the open. Like I, I made a guess, different method that doesn't expose what the contents are, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have to see what you're saying. Yeah, so, sure, well, sure, so sure. If, you, if you have something, like when I tell you like it's open-ended, you can do whatever you want, it's not like, okay, I'm going to write it in C language now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh. To the extent yeah. of, of uh, being logical, which means okay. checking. Um, yeah, go ahead. Because, okay, because like in uh, Milestone 4, we were told to move get... Um, get license plate to, pro to as protected right yes but then we never end up using like get license plate until milestone five but in milestone five uh in order for us in the parking module to access um a license plate we would have to use get license plate but because parking module is not a derived class of like a vehicle uh we're not able to access the license plate unless we create create like a public so I think you're doing something wrong. So let me see what you're... So uh, for which implementation? Tell me what it, what it is. That, you know what? Maybe maybe you should get on Microsoft Teams and we talk and you show me your solution. Cause, okay. So, so which one you're talking about, you're saying in... Um, you said in Milestone 5 to be able to do what? One more time, repeat that. To access the license plate. Why? Why do you need to access the license plate? Which for which part? Uh, for find vehicle, so that we can compare the input, uh, like to compare what we're getting from the user and what we have, what kind of vehicles we have parked. So yeah, and, and ah, vehicle so too. how many find vehicle functions do you have? One. Uh huh. So. Just to show you what I mean, let me show you my class. Uh, which class is the find vehicle in? Is it in 
parking. In parking, parking. right? Yeah. So, so let me get my parking.h. <sighs> Look at mine. This is one fine vehicle. This is another fine vehicle. So I don't know that. So you are saying you are saying in fine vehicle when you get the license plate. So let me actually go over there and see. Um, I just want to know. So in fine vehicle, you are saying when you get the license plate, you need to have get license plate to know what it is correct yeah don't you have an assignment operator that gives you that answer and and, and a comparison operator overloaded that gives you that answer for oh a my <laughs> oh do, do we I, I like forgot to <laughs> uh -huh. see in vehicle you have this, correct? Oh. Oh. All oh. right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So, remember one of the most important things. Remember what you have written before you sing them. Okay. Does okay, that make sense? You. Yeah. All right. Okay, I was kind of shocked and telling you, like, why? Why do you need to? Yeah, so that's why. All right. Are we good? Yeah, thank you. No problem. Anyone else? Uh, good questions are coming. I'm happy. Okay, what else? <laughs> no one else? No question? Any question one? Any question two? So, first, uh, the person who wanted to talk to me was, uh, who uh, was Anuj, was it you? Or it was Anvi, and it was Anuj, right? I'm sorry. Uh, was it you was who, who wanted to talk to me afterwards? Yeah, it's uh, regarding to... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so you yeah. wanted to talk to me. Okay, so after we, yeah. uh, I'm going to end the class today, right now. And after I finished it, call me. Okay, sure. so you're Thank next. You. And then after that, I'll call Peter because I know Peter wants to talk to me. So, um, so Peter, you wait for my call. As soon as I'm finished with Danuj, I'm going to call you, okay? I guess there's an okay. All right. Anyways. Uh, uh, Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Okay. Bye -bye. So, so, so um, have a beautiful day and I'll see you on Tuesday. Also on Tuesday, I think something's happening at Seneca before we go. Just uh, which one was it? Uh, pa, 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 pa. Um, let me see if I can. And never mind. I'm gonna make a posting or something. Okay. Uh, we'll talk. We'll talk later. Okay. Have a beautiful day. We'll we'll see you later. Have a good day and bye bye.